when you were running away and looked not back at anyone while the messenger was calling out to you from your rear. Then he gave you a sorrow in recompense for a sorrow, that you might not grieve for what escaped you, nor for what befell you. And Allah is well aware of what you do. Then after the sorrow he sent down peace on you, a slumber that overcame a part of you, while the other party was anxious concerning their own selves, thinking wrongly of Allah like unto the thoughts of ignorance. They said, Is there for us any part in the government of affairs? Say, All government belongs to Allah. They hide in their minds what they disclose not to thee. They say, If we had any part in the government of affairs, we should not have been killed here. Say, if you had remained in your homes, surely those on whom fighting had been enjoined would have gone forth to their deathbeds, that Allah might bring about his decree, and that Allah might test what was in your breasts, and that he might purge what was in your hearts, and Allah knows well what is in your minds. Those of you who turned their backs on the day when the two hosts met, surely it was Satan who sought to make them slip because of certain doings of theirs. But certainly Allah has already pardoned them. Verily, Allah is most forgiving, forbearing. O ye who believe, be not like those who have disbelieved and who say of their brethren when they travel in the land or go forth to war, had they been with us, they would not have died or been slain. This is so, that Allah may make it as a cause of regret in our hearts, and Allah gives life and causes death, and Allah is mindful of what you do. And if you are slain in the cause of Allah, or you die, surely forgiveness from Allah and mercy shall be better than what they hoard. And if you die or be slain, surely unto Allah shall you be gathered together. And it is by the great mercy of Allah that thou art kind towards them. And if thou hadst been rough and hard-hearted, they would surely have dispersed from around thee, to pardon them and ask forgiveness for them, and consult them in matters of administration. And when thou art determined, then put thy trust in Allah. Surely Allah loves those who put their trust in him. If Allah help you, none shall overcome you. But if he forsake you, then who is there that can help you besides him? In Allah, then, let the believers put their trust. And it is not possible for a prophet to act dishonestly, and whoever acts dishonestly shall bring with him that about which he has been dishonest, on the day of resurrection. Then shall every soul be fully paid what it has earned, and they shall not be wrong. Is he who follows the pleasure of Allah, like him who draws on himself the wrath of Allah, and whose abode is hell, an evil retreat it is? They have different grades of grace with Allah, and Allah sees what they do. Verily, Allah has conferred a favor on the believers by raising among them a messenger from among themselves, who recites to them his signs and purifies them and teaches them the book and wisdom, and before that they were surely in manifest error. What, when a misfortune befalls you, and you had inflicted the double of that, you say, Whence is this? Say, It is from your own selves. Surely Allah has power over all things. And that which befell you on the day when the two parties met was by Allah's command, and this was so that he might distinguish the believers, and that he might distinguish the hypocrites. And it was said to them, Come ye, fight in the cause of Allah, and repel the attack of the enemy. They said, If we knew how to fight, we would surely follow you. They were that day nearer to disbelief 
than to believe. They say with their mouths what is not in their hearts, and Allah knows well what they conceal. It is these who said of their brethren, while they themselves remain behind, if they had obeyed us, they would not have been slain. Say, then avert death from yourselves, if you are truthful. Think not of those who have been slain in the cause of Allah as dead. Nay, they are living in the presence of their Lord and are granted gifts from Him. Jubilant because of that which Allah has given them of His bounty and rejoicing for those who have not yet joined them from behind them, because on them shall come no fear, nor shall they grieve. They rejoice at the favors of Allah and His bounty, and at the fact that Allah suffers not the reward of the believers to be lost. As to those who answered the call of Allah and the Messenger after they had received an injury, such as them who do good and act righteously shall have a great reward. Those to whom men said, People have mustered against you, therefore fear them. But this only increased their faith, and they said, Sufficient for us is Allah, and an excellent guardian is He. So they returned with a mighty favor from Allah and a great bounty, while no evil had touched them, and they followed the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the Lord of great bounty. It is Satan who only frightens his friends. So fear them not, but fear me if you are believers. And let not those who hastily fall into disbelief grieve thee. Surely they cannot harm Allah in any way. Allah desires not to assign any portion for them in the life to come, and they shall have a severe punishment. Surely those who have purchased disbelief at the price of faith cannot harm Allah at all, and they shall have a grievous punishment. And let not the disbelievers think that our granting them respite is good for them. The result of us granting them respite will only be that they will increase in sin, and they shall have an humiliating punishment. Allah would not leave the believers as you are, until he separated the wicked from the good. Nor would Allah reveal to you the unseen. But Allah chooses of his messengers whom he pleases. Believe therefore in Allah and his messengers. If you believe and be righteous, you shall have a great reward. And let not those who are niggardly with respect to what Allah has given them of his bounty Think that it is good for them, nay, it is evil for them. That with the respect to which they were niggardly shall be put as a collar round their necks on the day of resurrection. And to Allah belongs their heritage of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is well aware of what you do.